Hi there, again it is Kishore Chaudhary. I'm a C Shop Corner MVP, and all the videos which I publish will be completely based on Azure. And now in this video, I am going to again speak about the Azure, Azure Logic App Service, but this time with something called OneDrive to Dropbox. That is, let me get into the portal first. This Logic App Service is go is all about sharing or copying the data which is being uploaded to your Dropbox to your OneDrive that is whatever I upload into my Dropbox will get copied to my OneDrive and this is like a backup <coughs> here let us say like manually what you will be doing is you will be uploading both the files to both these locations so you have to you have to do it twice like you are uploading once to the Dropbox and again to the OneDrive but here, when you go for the logic app service for OneDrive, Dropbox to OneDrive, whatever the files or documents or the data which you upload in your Dropbox will automatically get copied or will automatically be taken backup in your OneDrive itself. Let us see how it works. Go to new, choose Web Plus Mobile, logic app, and then select a name as one box let me choose like that so this is my subscription and let it be and let me choose uh, yeah one drive this is the resource group let me choose south india it is in the top yeah south india so one drive it's not available okay sorry just let it need be like this okay and now let me pin it to dashboard create since OneDrive is already a name that is it is already used by Microsoft I think I was I'm not able to use that one maybe it has copyrighted let it be now my logic app has been created my designer will automatically get loaded so this is the logic app designer if you are not familiar with this go to this location you can find it logic app designer in here and now coming back to this location as I have previously told in my video that there will be lot of templates and there is an option for you to create even a blank app you can look at this now I'm going to choose when new file is created in Dropbox copy to OneDrive so I'm going to choose this template use this template and this time again I have to Authenticate both my OneDrive and Dropbox since I have already signed in with, signed in with both the Dropbox and OneDrive I just give to need to give the permission alone. I'm allowing And that is done and now I have to authenticate my OneDrive Again, I'll authenticate my OneDrive and this time it will be a fun. It will be it will be good just I need to create some application or something in my my Dropbox or let me I need to just upload something in there so now I have to choose a folder for uh, I mean the folder which in which I am going to upload my data I mean when I upload the data in that folder only in that folder okay the data will get copied to my OneDrive let me choose it Dropbox or I can choose the whole Dropbox or if I have some specific folders I can get inside and I can find something but there is nothing in my Dropbox so I'm choosing the whole Dropbox now and so this is the same thing as I have told you previously in the last logic app service the, the triggering intervals it will be getting triggered for every second every minute it is based on what you said let me set it, let me set it for three seconds and now default parameters in the sense path so by default the path will be like backup from Dropbox this is this will be the folder and the file name will be the file name file content will be the exact file content if you want to do something you can choose the stuff from here I'm not gonna do anything in here let it be and now this is done you can set anything you need like conditions or something based on your requirement and this is all what we need for copying or taking backup for all our data in the draw in the Dropbox now let me save this let me run this one it works now 
now let me go back to my dropbox this is my dropbox and you can see my i one drive let me go to my one drive there i can find a new folder called where is it let me refresh it there will be a new folder called backup i'm sorry there will be a new folder where it is and here it is since nothing has been done with my dropbox the folder is not got created let me upload something in here upload files choose something let me choose what can i choose uh, let me choose this guy's image open so the file is getting uploaded to my dropbox now it is done i'm just uploading this to my dropbox alone and now i can get back to my one drive here let me refresh it again you can find it oh sorry i didn't run this now it is running you can find it it is getting triggered on continuously now again it is refreshing where it is give me a second i'll find the folder i just forgot where it is and here it is since i didn't refresh my page that didn't, that folder didn't got created now it is there you can find the data in here this is the picture which i have uploaded in my dropbox and it is now right in here let me do it once more once again let me upload one again one more image or something let me choose this one now this is getting uploaded to my dropbox and done again coming back to my so here let me refresh this, refresh this one okay let me refresh the whole page itself now it is here yeah it was there it is here so it will automatically get triggered but sometimes it will take little bit of time for coming let me click on this ah oh, it got downloaded i want to view it online yeah so this is how you share your files or whatever you data you stored in your dropbox to your one drive you may, you can ask me like why i need to copy a single like why i need to do this uh, use this application i can just copy my files i myself can do that just like that but in a scenario where you have huge set of files or in a scenario where you need to take backup for your files you can make use of this logic gap service hope you have got an idea about this and let me stop this one sorry let me run this one let it let it, this is how this is what i want to show you and it is done and that is all for now now let me finish the session and again it is kishore chaudhary i am a cisho corner mvp you can reach me at the following mail id if you have any queries comment out in the video or you can directly mail me i'll respond to you i'll respond to you very soon and that is all for today thank you